in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to analyze a deal in Hawaii. I went on Zillow and found a partially remodeled property that I think has some potential to add some value and resell it to make some profit. Check out this clip when I show you exactly how I would analyze this property. Okay, so I'm in Honolulu County. So the first thing I did was search Honolulu County. So you can go on Zillow.com. You can check out Honolulu County. And the first thing you're going to want to do is look at properties that need some work. Maybe uh, they're not like this completely rundown property. Uh, you can definitely do at least a little bit of work. For example, I looked at this property here. You can see it's semi-remodeled. The floors are nice. But why I think this property has some potential is... The wall colors are a little bit off. Maybe we can switch out this flooring here at the bottom. This countertop is pretty old. These are pretty old kitchen cabinets. I think you can refurbish these and put new hardware, but definitely would put a new countertop on there. Like I said, new flooring, paint. This is an old vanity, so we could replace that. And as I look through this, that's really all that needs work. It's not this full rehab. Here's another bathroom. Again, vanity. I'm guessing this shower can probably use a, a remodel as well, even though they don't show it. What you want to do is you got to look and see the address and try to find some comps. So I use PropStream. What I did is you copy paste that and put the address here in PropStream. Now it's gonna pull that up. Here's the property here. Go ahead and click details. And there's a section here that says comparables and nearby listings. So if you are not a realtor and you need access to some MLS access, this is a great tool. PropStream is a great tool to find details about a property. So just looking here, I mean, they don't even have a mortgage on this, which is great. This is a good opportunity for something like seller finance, but we're just going to talk about purely how to run the numbers as a flip if you are going to use hard money and private money for the purchase. So first thing you want to do is go inside the date range and go choose the last six months. Automatically, this goes to one year. So you want to make sure that you select these dates to be the last six months. This automatically gives you a square footage close to what you have. So that's good. And then really distance wise, it typically will give you the half a mile, but I know this area and I know I only want to take properties kind of in this very general area here. So I can look here and see what has sold in the last six months. That's not a rental. If you look at this, that means that it sold as a rental. So you're not going to use those, but one, two, five, seven, nine, and 11. One, two. Okay. So those are already out. One, two, five. That's that one. I look at that one though. And that one's a two bed. I don't want, I don't want that one. One, two, five, seven. That's a three bed, two and a half bath. So that one could work. 91, 1087, Kamila Street. 91. Looks like that's a good one. We'll search that. Add that in a new tab. Seven, nine, three, three. Okay, that one could work. And then 11 here. Nine, one, four, U. That's this one right here. Four, U, three. So we got that one. We got, I also found a couple more comps that are similar. When you look at this property, you want to make sure that it's similar in a sense that it has that garage and is connected like that. So if I look at these properties here, let me just pull these up. That one sold for 700,000 and it's remodeled and it's smaller. What I want to double check is the MLS photos and Redfin hides it. So what I usually do is I go to Oahu RE and I'll search it by the MLS number. So you could search here to see what the photos look like. So that's sold for 700,000. Looks like they have the garage that we're talking about there. Perfect. Remodeled. This is a great comp to use. So let's look at the other ones. This sold for 600,000. 
looks like it's not probably not remodeled just based off of property sold as is and then also the, the sale price isn't that high let's look at this other one two r6 is that this one yeah that's that one so we got that one and then here's the last one 660 no not that one i got that one pulled up right here six six fifty nine so it looks like the Kai townhomes townhomes this one's listed for 670 the reality is is this going to be our most accurate comp because it's in the same townhomes we can take into account these other ones that are close by but take it with a grain of salt it seems like these Kaina Kai are more desirable and it's sold for 700,000 so I can kind of assume that my ARV on this is going to be 700,000. If I remodeled it to look exactly like this property, it's completely remodeled, has that garage that we're talking about. And you can kind of see here that it looks way nicer than the one that we have. You see those, those cabinets are new, new hardware, appliances, new countertop. Let's take a look at the bathroom. These are also remodeled. So now I need to think about how much it would cost to get my property to look like this. They just put bathtub surround, nothing super fancy, just perfect. So I look back at our listing here and it doesn't look like that, but I don't think it's going to take too much work to get it to that caliber. So right now I'm going to open up my wealthy investor deal calculator. I got this from the wealthy investor program. By the way, if you need prop stream access, you can go to the link in the description below and check out a free seven day trial of PropStream. I use this for my whole business. So literally the lifeline of being able to run comps and figure out the details of a property and what I'm able to do with the property. Because like I said, he owes no mortgage on this, which means I can probably pitch a seller finance if he doesn't want to take my offer. But right now we're just going to run it based off of hard money and private money. So with that being said, here's my comps. I'm going to assume that I can sell this thing for 700000 just like it says here. Now, go to my Wealthy Investor Calculator, fill out the ARV, 700000 Now, minimum profit, I want to at least make 10% of ARV, so I'm going to put 70000 here. I really don't think it's going to cost more than sixty k to rehab this. I think that with the countertop, the bathrooms, flooring, paint, it's not going to take too, too, a crazy full remodel. I think 60000 is pretty fair. Now, when I resell it, I'm going to have to pay realtor commissions anywhere between 5 and 6%. Let's assume 6 Closing costs, 2%. Utilities, taxes, and insurance, 1%. I saw that the HOA is, let's see, HOA is 626 monthly fee. So let's plug that in there, Six. 26 total property cost is 126. I think I'll hold this property. It should not take more than a month to do that um, rehab. And then what I'll do is I'll look at 32 days until sold for this property. So I think six months is more than fair to assume that it's going to be sold in the next six months. You want to be conservative. If it takes 30 days to rehab and then 30 days to sell, that's two months. you got an extra four months of wiggle room here. Loan amount is going to be your total purchase price plus uh, your renovation costs. So you have purchase price, which we haven't decided yet, but your rehab cost is 60K. Let's say that we buy this for, for 470 or something. So 470 plus 60K, we're at 530. Okay. Now, interest rate, 11%. That's going to be for your private money and, and your um, rehab. And then total interest or points is going to be what it costs to get the loan. So let's say ARV is 700000 I want to make a minimum profit of 70 k Then my max offer I can put on this property is 463 so let's put that here, 463,000 right there. I make 70K on this. So I need to get this property at 463,000 in order to make 70,000 on this property. Currently they're listed at 670. Do you think that they're gonna take it? Let me know in the comments below.